who got away with murder that should be in prison right now? Carla Homolka The boys who tortured and murdered Junko Furuda Issei Sagawa, Japanese guy who was obsessed with cannibalism of white women. Was studying in France, lured a fellow student over to study and have dinner. He killed her and ate her. Was caught but due to weird law technicalities between France and Japan on extradition and stuff, he got to walk free. Still is, living back in Japan. The Juice David Miscavige Where is Shelley? My dad's murderer, whoever he is, wherever he is. February 15, 1974. Police never investigated. So, that's that. Robbed and stabbed. Everyone involved in the railroading of the West Memphis Three for letting the real killer S get away with it all this time. The scum who killed Junko Furuta, they got such light sentences for the crimes they committed, Miyano was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Minato received a 5 to 7 year sentence, Watanabe a 5 to 9 year sentence, and Joe an 8 year sentence. Deplorable and despicable, they should have all had life at the very least. Bollywood star Salman Khan, drove over homeless people. The killeress of John Bonet Ramsey. So far, whoever killed those college kids in Moscow, Idaho two weeks ago. Don King. Killed two people separate incidents served less than four years. That Japanese guy who ate that poor girl in France back in the day. He's now a minor celebrity in Japan that's released books and, believe it or not, is also a food critic of Sword Cirque. Added Issei Sagawa. My grandmother. She's the storybook definition of the sweet southern grandma to your face, but a true snake in the grass. Our entire family believes she murdered my aunt, her oldest daughter. Even with our constant efforts, police refuse to look into it. She is however on our city's most wanted list for burglary at 78 year old, woman shrugging. The bouncer at the station nightclub in West Warwick, Rhode Island. Refused to open an emergency exit and block the door during a fire. 100 people died. The Sackler family. Affluenza kid Ethan Couch. Judge should join him. OJ. The juice is on the loose. Casey Anthony. Cindy Handy wife of the toy box killer took a plea deal to get a reduced sentence and then they found videotapes of her actively helping in the kidnapping, torture, rape and murder of multiple women. While she technically didn't get away, she did get a slap on the wrist for what she did. The entire Marcos family from the Philippines. O.J. Simpson. If you read how he actually killed Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman and how vicious his attack was you would be disgusted at the idea he is out golfing on the weekends. Sackler family. Junko Furuta's killers. They're still wandering around. They didn't get the sentence they deserved. And on a related note, the people involved in the Sylvia Lincoln's case. The old bat died of lung cancer, but she didn't spend a minute in jail. Casey Anthony. She had everything but how to kill my daughter in her history, stuff like how to make chloroform foolproof suffocation methods then lied to everyone about who took her daughter, had parts of her daughter's body in her car and had taped up and buried her daughter not far from where she lived. Then lied about it dozens of times, and changed her story like three four times, yet people still let her off. I don't get it. The grandson of the founder of Red Bull Energy Drink. He ran over a Bangkok police officer a few years ago while driving his Ferrari. But because his family is one of the richest in Thailand they were able to bribe absolutely everyone aside from the Thai public. He kept postponing going for an interview at the police station and eventually just flew out of the country on a private jet. His family has houses all over the world and he has been out of the country for years now. And because of how the statute of limitations works in Thailand, every few years another charge gets dismissed. The Cabo Six, who allegedly lured Shankwella Robinson out to Cabo under the premise of a B-Day celebration but actually intending to kill her. The current Ayatollah of Iran for the senseless deaths of young people recently. I assume you mean other than OJ. The killer S and or abductor S of Madeline McCann. I feel like this question was made for OJ Simpson. Mohammed bin Salman for having Khashoggi killed. Ethan Couch. The woman who falsely accused Emmett Till. Some politician's wife that hit and killed someone in England while she was drunk driving. I wanna go and say Casey Anthony, then I saw it posted once, so I didn't. But as I continued, I realized you scroll for about 50 answers or so and there she is again. So I'm gonna 100 second that and say fuck that bitch, Casey Anthony should 100 be in prison or dead.
Mohammed bin Salman. He's done more than murder Jamal Khashoggi. Sacklers. Casey Anthony definitely killed her daughter. Or at least neglected her to the point where she died. Caitlyn Jenner. Got away scot-free with vehicular manslaughter. OJ. The juice is on the loose. Those two cops who brought back that kid to Dahmer. Carla Homolka. That sorry sob in Texas who shot at a car he thought was being driven by the persons who tried to rob him, but it wasn't, so he killed an innocent girl instead, and walked. The two officers. Balsarek another dude that let Connor Ick die at the hands of Dahmer. Emo they should see jail time. O.J. Simpson. The cops who killed Eric Garner. Whoever is kidnapping and killing Native American women and girls and the ignorant asses who haven't been investigating. 1. Imelda Marcos, literally forced workers to finish their edifice complex at the expense of their safety and eventually lead to their deaths. 2. The entire Marcos family for arresting and killing journalists, activists, and political prisoners. They keep denying history and are even attempting to rewrite it. 3. Rodrigo Duterte for his war on drugs that led to the death of thousands of innocent Filipinos through extrajudicial killings. Henry Kissinger. Emi Marcos. She is the mastermind behind the murder of Archimedes Trajano during the martial law era in the Philippines back in 1977, but has refused to take accountability. Now the presidential sister, she also holds a Senate seat. CEO of Nestle Whoever murdered Gary Webb, most likely the FBI. He was a journalist who stepped on some dose to say the least. He was found with two bullets in his head and it was ruled a suicide. Casey Anthony Jeffrey Epstein and Maxwell. Both got off way too easy. OJ. The guy who murdered Lisa Marie Young. Straight up shoddy police work. The Kobe cannibal. He literally shot and ate a woman in Paris and now lives free in Tokyo saying he would do it again if he could. The rapist Brock Allen Turner. A little late for this, but Paul Pitt killed 25 of his entire country and then spent the rest of his life free. He died peacefully in his home at an old age. The people involved in the Bud Dwyer case. Hell it was later proven after he took his own life that he didn't do what he was accused of. A deaf guy named Maverick William Fisher. The guy has long-time mental issues and murdered a guy he went camping with. Jury found him not guilty however he was recently released. He's clearly guilty when he explained it to my group in Vegas during the World Deaf Expo in Vegas this summer. The paparazzi in the tunnel when Diana died. The killer of Tim McLean. He was trying to get home on a Greyhound bus and was stabbed to death, beheaded and cannibalized for no reason besides sitting next to a very disturbed man who is now walking free due to the insanity plea. The only case that truly messed me up after learning about it. Issei Sagawa. Sika should be in jail for life. Robert McNamara. Yeah he's dead, but he should have spent his life in prison. The Greyhound bus killer, Will Baker. I believe he is formerly known as Vince Lee. This case is one of the most horrific murders I have ever heard about. He was submitted to a mental health facility and released in 2015. If not in prison, he should have stayed locked up absolutely anywhere. That asshole from Enron. He deserved a serious sentence at a real prison. Not a few years in a low security retirement home. Hundreds of lives ruined to save some cash. Casey Anthony. Purdue Pharma. Vic Mackey. O.J. Simpson. I'm 20 and even I say it's so obvious. I'm not even in the same generation and it's mind-numbingly obvious. George Hodel. The case of the Black Dahlia is the most solved mystery of all time.